All right, time for a segment now that we're going to bring to you every Monday. We're going to follow the money of the youngins. It's called Kid Money. Of course, kids, tweens, and teens have billions in buying power. And for millions of kids, playtime means logging on to virtual worlds. What toy makers are ahead of the game in the battle to rule children's computer screens? Joining us now, Todd Townsend, former communications architect at Cisco Systems, our tech expert. Todd, let's talk about Webkins. Webkins. It's a private company, right? It's a private company, and this is the f they were kind of the first stage in the whole bringing the brick and mortar to the online world. If you remember back when the Internet first started in online buying, everybody said brick and mortar is going to disappear, no more storefronts. But what's happened is now companies have found a way to get people in the store, like kids, buy a toy, bring it home, and then start using it online as well for an extra source of revenue. Now, what's the story with these things? I mean, I should know. I got a four and a half year old. I mean, what, what do you what do you do? I mean, they, you buy the doll, and then it's like feed me money or online. Well, you go, you buy the doll, and each doll has a code on it. When you buy it, you can da then take that doll home and log on to the Webkins world and start using it online. And at first, some of the things are free. Some of the games and all that. You name your pet, you give it a gender, and it can start interacting with all the other pets online. And then you start getting introduced to other services that do cost money. Now, that money obviously comes from real cash and a real bank account, but as kids play games and, and solve problems, they can get what's called Webkin's Kins Cash and start building money into their accounts online and use that to buy things. So it also teaches kids about using money online as well. All right, well, l let's move outside of that. Obviously, on the, a little bit older, right. teenagers, social networking is huge. Facebook, MySpace, yep. some others around the world. Google today, launching a product to get into this. Big announcement. Google is doing something called Friend Connect. Now, if you back up to about this January, we actually talked about it right here on Fox Business about how social networking sites were going to start opening up, meaning you could take information from one site and move it to another and have one profile. Because you know now, Brian, if you want to sign up on a bunch of sites, you've got to go to Facebook and sign up. You've got to go to LinkedIn and sign up and put the same information in over and over. What you can do now is create one profile and pull the parts of that information that are appropriate for each site. Business on LinkedIn, friend stuff on Facebook. What Google's doing is not only allowing that, but in addition, they're going to make it so you can take your own website that you create very easily and add all kinds of social networking functions. Is Google going to be pulling information from these? Because you don't own your profile, though. Facebook and MySpace. Are. Right. Well, they're going to. The, so they're going to allow this. Google's going to allow, it, but they're also going to give you tools to put social networking on your own website with no programming knowledge, so you can create your own social networking site for any special interest you want. It's a big deal coming from Google. All right. You think it's a big announcement? Then? I think and it's today, huge. Today, the debate is it the regular version or the beta version launching today? Well, it's just the beta. It's the programming tools. We're going to see a lot come out of this. This is a huge next step in social networking. All right. So from Little kid networking, although big money, right? Networking's huge, huge money, enormous money. Think about it. In the past, you used to buy a toy, and that was it. Now you bring the money online, too. The revenue stream is constant. When Webkinses start to have Facebook pages, then we have a problem. We're scared. We're almost there, Todd. Thanks very much. You're All right, welcome. Todd Townsend, we appreciate it.